Welcome back to this board game officer. So today we are going through another chapter or another scenario of Rogue Angels Legacy of the Burning Suns. So this is the third fourth scenario fourth scenario here This is the third part of the videos because I did not do the first Scenario in the videos just because it was a tutorial Alone in the park Lo location is ve on vexation Abaddon Site 1, 4, south of the weapon facility. Mission Brief. Looking out of the canopy, you see some of the yellow and orange light from the sun slowly dims as the ship makes it through the atmosphere of Abaddon. You turn to embrace us. As I said, we'll have to drop you and your team off south of the facility. From there, you can make your way through the forest to the southern entrance. Let me introduce you to our ship's medic, Gwendar, who will brief you on the planetary environment. Hey, Commander. Nice to finally meet you. Like Umbreus said, I'm the ship's medic, cook, and occasional rear gunner, depending on the situation. Just like the rest of the crew, I'm here to help whenever you need it. I've gone through the available environment records from both Vexation and Abaddon, which isn't a lot. Keeping it simple, the air is breathable pretty miraculous in this system, and the climate in this region is stable. Standard planetary drop protocols should work fine. Take anti-allergy meds, don't eat the vegetation, and don't provoke the life forms you encounter. Except the hellfires, of course. Best of luck. The ship comes to a halt. As you open the hatch, you are greeted by a lush and vividly green forest, a, wonder, a wondrous and almost disorientating mix of large plants, roots, flowers, and exotic insects surrounds the ship. When ready, continue to C4 mission layout. All right, here's the setup here, which we'll set up here in a second. Camera. Commander, there's a small energy signature up ahead. Perhaps a camp of some sort. Check it out before you reach the facility in order to avoid a potential ambush. And be wary of the wildlife. It is said that, it is said that the radiation and vexation cause spectacular mutations, quite unlike anything seen in assembly space. So it looks like we're going to have five turns. Get the commander adjacent to the POI. Failure if the turn token reaches zero, all players are unconscious, restart the mission. All right, and our enemy behavior is idle occupation. So let's go ahead and get that set up. All right, here we have the setup here. We got these forest fiends is what they're called here. Forest fiend. They have a range of three, moving them to attack for one and health of three. And idle occupation, what we have here is <clears throat> the first one is just gonna move west, south, and east. Then the second one's gonna move south, east, and west. However, for exclamation point here, if there's a player within range and line of sight of the enemy when activated, the enemy will use the exclamation instead, and then they will just attack twice. <laughs> so here we go. We are trying to not get hit this time, which these two did very well last time. We'll see how they do this time now. And red is going to activate first. Let's see. And hero is the commander, so we have to get hero adjacent to that spot. Maybe I'll actually have him start there, just so hero can get here. And he could run as fast as he can. All right, so we're going to have Hero go first here. And he, we're going to have him just do his basic move here. Roll on one die. Ooh, I want to re-roll that. I'll spend one focus to re-roll it. There we go. Plus one. That's all I really wanted to go one, two. Now I have my <clears throat> more than two spaces, so I'm going to go again with my basic move. Yeah, plus one. So that one. Two, three, four. So I could go one, two, three, four. Yellow's not going to activate. Oh, but red is going to activate. And I am within line of sight in range because his range is three. That's one, two. Ugh. Hmm. All right. That does mean hero's going to get hit, but I think I'll take it just so I could get as quick up there as quick as I can. So, <clears> who <throat> he's going to get really hurt. Whatever, whatever. That's what we chose. All right. <laughs> so... Now we will flip his activation token over, decrease that by one, and now the enemies will go. If the first enemy is not within line of sight, okay, 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 I, I didn't notice that that was blocked off right there. I actually am going to go, so I started there. My first movement was one, two, yes. So if I was right there, I went one, two for my first movement. No, because then I'm only within hmm, two, one, two. Yep. So rewind. I know I'm cheating. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I could even start here. That's fine, too. But I went one, two. And my second one, one, two. Because I only had two and two because I didn't get that plus two from him for that second one. But that's okay. Because all I want to be there is hidden so Hero doesn't die. All right. So now the red one's going to move north. He can't move north because that is blocked off right there. East, he's going to go one, two, three because his movement. Oh, no, it's only two. One, two. And then south. One, two. Oh, snap. That's all right. He still has space to run away. Now, number two, no one is in range or line of sight. So he's going to move west. One, two. North. One, two. Then east. 
one, two. All right, there we have that. This will flip over here. We're still do the exact same thing, just I mean, different directions, different times, but same idea. So I'm not sure what I want to do with her actually, because she can't. I just want to make sure she's not in range or line of sight, really. Which I mean is kind of sad, because she's not going to be moving much. Ooh, 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 ooh! This is what she's going to do. She's going to play this one. Wait, do I want to do that? Hmm. Here, right? Yep, yep. I could come here, be out of line of sight. Yep. All right. So I'm going to have her play this one, actually. So she's going to play this one. And she's actually going to spend this moving ally three. So she's going to spend her one token there. This goes on the three space. She'll roll dice, I guess. But it doesn't really matter because I'm not interacting with anything. Plus one on a movement. Sure, I'll use that movement just to make sure I'm out of line of sight. I'm just going to move down. But he is within line of sight there. So he's going to move for three. He's going to go one, two. Actually, just for two. Because if you see, he will not be in line of sight. He'll be within range, but not line of sight. So he will not attack. And he is will is also not in line of sight, so he will not attack. And that will put him too closer to there. So hopefully we can get in there without being attacked at all. And I don't think I want to do anything else with Leilai. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to rest. And then I get my free rest at the end. And then that end of interaction flips over. Yeah, both of them have activated now, so they will both flip back over there. All right, now we'll look at here. We've got number one right there. He's going to go west for two. He only goes for one, though. South, he cannot go south. And then east for two. One, two. All right. So not much movement with that one. But now number two is going to go south for two. One, two. Going to go east for two. One. And then west for two. One. All right. That'll flip back over to the red side. This went down one before that. And now it is Hero's turn. So because he is more than two away, he gets a plus one to his basic movement. Come on. There we go, there's another one. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Booyah! And play that again, doesn't really matter. Get another plus one, doesn't matter, because I go right there. Then that was my second action, so I will end my turn. We're coming here to check, get the commander adjacent to the POI, which we did. So we'll go to mission update one. All right, that was actually pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Question, if anyone attacked the force creatures, who did it first? The player paints one personality mark in Dominion and receives a token immediately. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I want a token. But because I didn't attack, I guess. All right. Well, maybe that wasn't a good thing that I snuck past him. <laughs> so remove one POI and all enemies. Okay. Okay. So that POI goes gone. And all these fiends that I was hiding from that I thought I was doing great for not attacking <laughs> goes away. So now I'm going to place two Howling Spine Heads and two for Forest Fiends back, but any enemy, uh, enemy behavior card is going to the Vicious Attack. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. And camera. Anyone there, Commander? Our scanner isn't picking anything up. Wait, a large group of creatures are stampeding towards your position. They might attack if you don't get out of their way. Move north to avoid them if you can. All right, so now we got it set up. We're gonna have eight turns to do this. Have w at least one conscious player when the token reaches zero. Those not conscious will be recovered after the mission, painting one scar each. Trigger. Place kill enemies next to the map. When you reach two killed enemies, have them spawn in their original spawn area before the enemy's next turn. Reminder, when enemies appear, they always go first after the mission has been updated. Failure if all players are unconscious, all are recovered at the end of the mission, painting one scar. Oh snap. Killed enemies. That means... If I kill them, they just spawn right back. I only can kill one without them spawning back. Okay, so basically that's why it says that we need to move north. Because if we come up in this corner, they'll spawn back over here and at least take a little bit while a little bit longer to get to us, I guess. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see what happens because we are like way far away from each other. Anyways, but Hero just went. And that means these guys are gonna go. These eyes only have a range of or a line of oh wait, no no, we're getting a vicious attack. So they are going to move towards the nearest player, attack the near nearest, and attack the second nearest. And then most distant player, and attack the nearest, attack the nearest. So let's go ahead and go the first. The first, the nearest player. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But that is more straight and only one. So this is technically the nearest player for number one. So he will move one, two, three, four. However, luckily, they have a range of one, movement of four, and attack of two. So luckily, he cannot make it there because he doesn't have that range. So he cannot do any attacks. However, now this guy, most distance player, one, two, three, 
four, five, and one, two, three. So he's just gonna go one, two, three, four. Luckily, not gonna attack. Oh, this was reset at eight. All right, and now we will move over to Lele's turn. Lele, 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 to Lele's turn. And that doesn't move down because that moved down at the, before the mission check. So that starts at eight and that did not go down yet. So what she maybe wants to do is try to kill both of them. Although they both do f have four health. There's no way she's going to do four health. Attack for four. Ooh. My laser sniper can do four within range four to eight. One, two, three. So if she just moves one, she could kill that one, which would be nice. Yeah, I think I will do that because she's going to get hurt if she doesn't take care of at least one of those. Yeah, and this one is only two with zero dice. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my basic move. So I get a shield, which I don't have any shields away, but I just that move one is all I really wanted. Move there. That comes back to my hand now. I'm going to use this. Oh, wait. Never mind, never mind, never mind. That has to be the first action. If this is your first action, deal four. Person adjacent character three away from you. All right, maybe she's just going to run then. That's what she's gonna do. She's just gonna run. So I'm, I take that back. I'm gonna do this unpredictable movement, meaning I get to roll three dice. It doesn't have any movement at the beginning, but I do have three dice. Oh yeah, look at that, That's five movement. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I'm still within range. Let me see, let's see, one, five. Yeah, dang, I'm still within their range. I'm like, oh, wait, 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 I still have another move. This does go on two. And now I'll do another basic move here with another plus one, so that's another two, one, two. Yeah, now she's totally out of range of those two. <laughs> that was amazing, that was amazing. All right, and that comes back to my hand. Free rest action at the end. Now the hacking drone comes back to my hand, and that goes down there. However, now those two are going to go, and they're going to hurt Hero here. So number one is going to go towards the last activated player. Okay, which is just one, two. However, that does put Hero within range, so attack all players and all players twice. So they do one damage. And even moving, well, I guess actually they would have gone one, two, actually. Right there to move, because that would be the closest there. And definitely attack Hero twice. So he'll just take two damage there from the shields. Move towards the most distant player. One, two. He is not within line of sight, because that does break that red line. So he's not within line of sight, so he cannot attack Hero. Cannot attack, but then he moves towards the last activated player, which once again is that same one, so it goes one, two. All right, that was good, that was good. And then I'll flip back over to the red side. Whoo, buddy. All right, Hero, what are you going to do? Oh man, I still have a lot of turns left to go, man. And they just need to survive. So she's gonna be safe, so if I could kill both of them, oh, but if I kill both of them, then I can't run. Or do I just run? Maybe I just run. So I go one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, so I need to make it to here to not get hit by either one of those. Yep, I'm just going to run. So I'm gonna do my basic movement. I get a plus two to this. And then I got that one. Or should I take that shield? Let's see, let's go. Two, three. I don't know if I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna keep running. Then I'm gonna do this again. I think I'm gonna take the shield that time. So I'll go back up to two shields. Go one, two, three. All right, I think I'm okay with that, I think. <laughs> so that was my turn. That goes down like that. Now the red enemies are gonna go again. The first one is move towards the nearest player. Three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so Hero is closer, so he's gonna move forward. One, two, three, four. Oh man, and he is adjacent, so he will attack him. So that one shield will go back down to one. So he has one shield left. Second is the most distant player, which will be Leilai, two, three, four, and not be able to attack anyone because she's only got a range of one. So then this will flip back over to the yellow side. And it is Leilai's turn again. All right. Ooh, I did not think about that. So now her sniper is pretty much worthless. Unless I were to kill one of them, which actually I could because they're gonna activate next. Because let's see, do I have line of sight? Two. Ooh, yes, I do. Look at that. I got a beautiful line of sight there. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is seven. And this guy has four to eight. And I'm going to do four. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it kind of defeats that because this would be really good for those guys. But 
I don't, they're, they're gonna activate next and attack twice. So I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do this, put that on placement four, and I'm gonna do four damage to this guy here. Oh, let me roll two dice first. Huh? Ooh, that movement of one is not gonna help me. And I don't need any shield, so that doesn't do anything. Well, that plus one is nothing, actually. There's nothing to augment on this card, so that plus one actually doesn't do anything, and I don't need shields. All right, so now I will do four damage to this guy, and he'll go away. He does not spawn back yet, unless we are to kill the second one. So that was the first thing I want, I want to, to do. Now, do I want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this just to injure another one. Still two damage. I'm not going to roll the dice, and I'm not going to add... I could add one, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put this down to do two damage. So I'll put that on two. And I'm going to do two damage to this guy, I think. Yes. Yeah, because if I killed both yellows, red would activate again. So I definitely do not want to kill both yellows. But if I do that, then I can hopefully for sure kill at least one of those next time. Yeah, so I'm going to do two damage to him. All right, my, my free rest action, that goes down, that goes down. I get this movement back into my hand. Both activation tokens are flipped over, so I'll flip those back over there. And this goes down to five. Whew. Man, I don't know about this survival game. <laughs> All right, let's see what this one yellow one does. He's going to move towards the last activated player. One, two, three. Check line of sight here. Ooh, he does have line of sight to both of us. So he's going to attack both of us, luckily just for one. So Hero goes down to zero shield, and Leylight goes down to one, or Doubt goes down to two shield. All right, luckily that's it though for the yellow. And now it is Hero's turn. So what is Hero going to do? Ooh, I could do this one to kill that red one. So if I do that, I could... Oh, the second action I get to do two undefendable. So let's wait for that one. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this one first. Still three to an enemy within range of four. So that means I do range of four. This guy, I kill that guy. Now, before their turn, they will s summon again. But then my second ability, I'm going to do this. And because it's my second action, I get to get to do two undefendable damage. And I'm actually am going to spend one of those guys, spend that token to be able to put this on the one slot. That way I'll get it back at the end of this turn. And I do two damage to finish this guy off. And that is all she wrote. Nearest character. I want to point out here that this red side says nearest character for the second one. So that could be another enemy. That is something to note, that's for sure. If we could use that against them, that would be handy. All right, now it is their turn. This goes down to four. One spawns here, one spawns. Number two spawns here, and number two spawns here. All right, and now it is the red's turn because yellow activated last turn. So number one is going to move towards the nearest player, which is already touching me, and it's going to attack the nearest player, which that is. I'm down to zero shields here, so that means I do have to take two damage cards. Whew. All right, this is getting serious here quick. <laughs> All right, first one is when move an action card to the right one place, then place this card on two. Oh, I forgot to do my rest action at the end of my turn. So that means this goes up to one and this goes there. My second damage card is place this on number two. This will come here. At least it brings, gives me my both of my weapons back. So that's good. However, now I'm very damaged. <laughs> all right, there is no second nearest player. So that's all we got there. And now it is. So now we both, we just, we've, no. So now it is Le Leilai's turn. Right, because that was just Hero's turn that... No, 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 that was Leilai's that we flipped up. Yeah, yeah, so it's either one's turn. So we could have either one go at this time. He's got four, so... And yellow's going to go this after this one. So they shouldn't be able to... One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, so they shouldn't be able to do... Shouldn't have to do anything. I'm going to get Hero to go first so he could move away, hopefully, here. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my scoped M160 rifle to do three damage to that guy. So I go three damage. However, because I cannot place that there, I have to go there. But then my second, I'm going to do a basic interact, which I'm going to do one attack with one roll. Come on. Ooh. I'm going to use one that because I really need a shield. And that was not a shield. One more focus. Come on. Two movement. Well, I actually already have two movement because it's my basic action. All right. I really need a shield. Come on. Ha ha. There's a shield. So I get one shield. <laughs> and because this was a basic interact card or a basic card, and I'm within or outside of two spaces from him, 
I get to deal the damage, so I get to kill that guy. And then I get to move two. One, two. Actually, I think I want to go right there. Because that will kind of block that line of sight a little bit more. A little bit more. But that just goes back to my hand. Free rest action. This goes down. All goes down one. This goes down one. All right. So we only got three more turns here. Can we do it? So yellow here. Last activated player. It's going to go one, two. Then all players, all players. One, two, three. They're out of line of sight. This one is going to go one, two. Still out of line of sight. All characters. All characters. One, two, three. He's going to hurt him for one. I mean, only one. But that's so awesome. I'm glad it's... Notice that character's there. First one's players, this one's characters. Then he gets a move again, one, two. Still, one, two, three. Still out of line of sight, or range, and line of sight. All right, so now it is Leilai's turn again here, because we flipped his activation token over, so at Leilai's turn. Ooh, let's look at her line of sight again. So red is gonna activate this time. Once again, both of them are within line of sight here. Hmm, but is it worth it? Because they're not gonna move. Yeah, no, 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 it's not worth it, it's not worth it. If I kill one of them, that red's gonna back, and that means we have two reds coming our way. If I don't, this red's gonna move, then we kill one, then it's back here, so then we're kind of got them swapped instead of killing them both. Yes, I like that. So, what she is going to do is actually, oh, this is perfect. Heal yourself or a character within four, four, two. Uh, but we will roll that one dice, which gives us two movement. I'm gonna spend a focus, I'm looking for a shield here. There we go. So she's actually back up to three shields. She's doing very well. However, he did heal Hero for two damage, which that was so handy that she didn't need to do anything else on her turn. Which also means this one goes right in between there. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to do an action, a rest action, and then the free rest at the end. So we get those cards back. That was not bad. We come up here. We go this down to... Two. These activation tokens flip back over. And now the one red guy gets to go. He's going to move towards the nearest player. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. And so he's going to go one, two, three, four. Just try to go around. Ooh, that actually might. Let me make sure I'm doing that right. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, so actually he is one more closer. One, two, three, four. But still, I mean that's not bad at all. I'll take that. I think I got this. I think we got this. Alright, and that's all for the reds. And now we each get one more turn here. And now these so now the yellow is going to activate next. Ah, ooh, yeah, actually. And I am going to have Leilai go first again. What she's gonna do, she's actually gonna do a free rest action or an rest action here. To get this laser sniper back. Then she's going to do this to deal 3 damage to an enemy within 4 to 8. So she's going to use that again right away. And as stated before, that number 2 is within li line of sight. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's 4 to 8, so he is within 4 to 8. So I will just kill that one. Meaning it will respawn, but it will respawn back down here. Oh, that one follows along that one. And that was my two actions. Free action at the end goes down to 3. Before the enemies go, these will spawn back there and right there and this did go down to one so all we have to do is hero has to survive that was we did this all right that was scary but i think we really managed that going back and forth all right so now all hero has to do is survive yellow is going to go next one two yeah and he's not going to be within line of sight so i'm just going to ooh, actually i'm going to rest one no i'm going to concentrate and then i'm going to use a basic action Mainly just because I want to try to get a shield here. And I did get a shield, so that will go up to two. All right, awesome. Then at the end of my turn, I slide that down to two. And this goes down to zero. So no one is unconscious, so we are good. So we will go to mission update number two. Several large animals run past you, knocking you to the ground. Two vor voracious spine heads spot their potential meat meal and are just about to jump you when a couple of canisters drop in front of them. Commander, are you still there? We can see smoke. What's going on? The creatures are running away from your position as if something had scared them off. Can you see anything? Changeling. That gas won't keep them away forever. You can regroup at my camp, but you need to hurry. You follow the nimble changeling into their hidden cabin. Please don't touch any of my stuff. Sorry. We where are my manners? My name is Ayani Inaru, 
I'm a radiobiologist. I'm, ex- I'm on an expedition from the University of Amherst to study the, ec- ecosys- the ecosystem of vexation, to see how the sun's radiation affects both the living and the machines. Yes, yes, I'm sure that's fascinating, Commander. I need you to proceed with our plans right away. We don't have time to get acquainted with everything, everyone on our path. Let them go about their business and move on. Are you heading to that facility south of here? I've been watching it since I got here. The hellfires upset the wildlife when they go on patrol. All the noise causes stampedes like the one you just experienced. I can guide you if you like. I know their patrol route and where the local wildlife tends to congregate. Not to mention where most of the booby traps protected the fil- protecting the facilities are. I won't get in your way. It seems we are disagreeing again, Commander. I really don't appreciate you making a habit out of this. Why, why is this even a discussion? I don't know. But hopefully I can have faith you'll do the right thing. Will you let Anai Anaru join your team as a companion? Yes or no? All players vote with the commander breaking the ties. Um, yeah, I don't... I mean, last time we, we had this, this discussion was when we were supposed to kill that female engineer. I mean, we did kill her and he was kind of right. But this time, I, I think we need her help. I mean, if she's got intel, yeah, I'm taking her along with me. So, if team voted yes, continue to C4AA. Mission update number three. I'm very happy that you would like me around for now. Don't worry, I won't get in your way, and I'm sure I can help you out. Thanks for trusting me. Commander, are we going to trust everyone we come across? I have a feeling you'll be sorely disappointed down the line, but I won't spoil it for you. Just keep your mind focused on the mission, and I'm sure we can all benefit from this, perhaps even the new intern you have on your team, if you don't let it get in your way. Action, if those who voted yes, Get a negative on, on braces. Those who voted no, do nothing. And at, an Ayeni Inaru has joined your team as a companion. And here we have Ayeni. She is a radiobiologist. After your free rest action, you may move one damage card, one slot to the left. Ooh. Rational behavior. Once per mission on your turn, you and all allies, no matter where they are, gain two focus. All right. That is awesome. I like the idea of her being on our team. All right, when ready, continue to blow. The time you have spent on the ground fighting and running have paid off on your skills, and you have been able to optimize and hone your own basic abilities. Action. Each player must upgrade one of their character's two basic action cards with one sticker of their choice from the character's legacy sticker sheet. One ready. When ready, continue to C5A, the site. So here we will update this. One negative side on unbraces on both sides. And then we get to choose which one of these four eight stickers we get to put on one of them on the basic interact and one of them on the basic move so hero is going to take this move an ally two for his basic move card and she's going to take though your next action this turn has plus one die all right there you have that was part three in this playthrough go ahead click up here i'm going to have the next one up there i'm going to have the how to play right there and i will see you later